Hi traders, in a trending market we usually see more volume and more aggressive volume for example here on the buy side trading at higher highs. Uh, from the uh, 1045 area we were channeling uh, before, the, before this area here and we can see that uh, more aggressive buying here uh, pulling the market up into newer highs for this, for this uh, period. Uh, we channel sideways and again uh, we see more volume here breaking to the upside and trading above this small range here uh, and pulling price up lifting the offer and targeting high liquidity so we see more volume at higher highs in that trending market and we see less volume at the higher lows and uh, less aggressive selling at those higher lows uh, so that's indicative of the trending market and we can also see how this relates with the liquidity and the heat map uh, the target areas are high liquidity okay we can see that uh, market starts to approach uh, those areas uh, and uh, once it reaches those areas a lot of times well we see the large transactions that take place uh, and then uh, we go sideways for a bit now it's also interesting to note the support on the other side not the uh, high liquidity here on the offer uh, getting filled up in these areas as you can see but the high liquidity on the bid too so we see the liquidity flip here from the offer over to the bid supporting this breakout to the upside okay we also see it here in this area they were here on the offer now they're on the bid here supporting price uh, and this breakout uh, and new understanding of price up at this level and we see it once again up here Okay. And then up in this area, we channel for quite a while between two areas of high liquidity, as you can see. Uh, one aspect to note here, uh, and we noted this during the live webinar, uh, is the uh, the pattern that started to take place. Now, uh, this pattern uh, changes each each uh, each day, or uh, you know, depending on the instrument. Uh, we'll take a look at um, at the euro and uh, it's very similar as uh, the action here today uh, but there's different uh, variations that take place here uh, for example we can note here the higher volume here sideways action and then the initiated buying starts again here at the high of the range this is what allows uh, the uh, instrument to trade into a higher area it's this aggressive market buy orders here lifting the offer into these new levels okay now it initiated up here at this area okay also here when it broke to new highs it initiated up here at the high of the range okay so when we saw that during the live webinar and noted it here at these other areas we started to anticipate that action to occur yet again up here and indeed it did and we're targeting areas of high liquidity up here so it went right to the target now uh, that's one uh, variation on this theme here but we can also look over at the euro and um, oh, I'm sorry euro okay and uh, we can also see the uh, the same behavior here so let me zoom out a bit and uh, we're gonna zoom into the same time frame here okay and uh, and we can see down in this area here okay the same the same type of behavior more volume here actually a little bit higher uh, and um, uh, trades up in that area and yet again up in here we start to note the the green and the in the clusters uh, in this area here look at where it's going it's targeting the high liquidity here look at them on the bid uh, supporting price at the at these areas where they broke from okay now this is trading a little bit differently uh, but that you should note that uh, we can see the differences here uh, and then yet again up in this area uh, we see the breakout to the upside okay I uh, hope that's helpful uh, this is the kind of information we go through every day during the live webinars uh, come and join us